It's crazy I even have to make this video in 2020. November 12th, 2023. Last year Diwali. There's a boy named Priyanshu Yadav who lives in Ujjain, Madhya Pradesh with his mom, Preeti Yadav. His dad, Mr. Rajendra Yadav, and his mom has divorced three years ago and he lives alone with his mom. He's a 10th grade student and he is just going to school. He's about to give his boards. His mom quoted that my child is exceptionally good at studying. He always made sure his grades were good. The internet can be a beautiful place, but can also be a place that is tremendously horrible. He was a beautiful child. He looked so beautiful and he just wanted to do something with his life. You know, I imagine that getting your parents to be divorced in a country like India, where divorce is such a, you know, looked and frowned upon thing, it must be really difficult for him. And not having a parental figure is already very detrimental to a child's health. But then Priyanshu was also gay, like me, like some of you that might be watching. He was gay and he did not have a fatherly figure in his life. We don't know much about if his father was very engaged in his life, if he wasn't. I couldn't find it, so I'm not going to make any commentary on it. But other than doing great at school, Priyanshu also loved makeup. He loved doing makeup and he loved wearing feminine clothing and he loved wearing jewelry and he was so good at it. I wish I was this good when I was just 16 years old. I was doing makeup when I was 16 years old. The difference is astounding in skill. And I guess because of that difference, I never got too much success in social media when I was just 16. But him on Diwali last year, he posted this reel. He posted a transition video where he's transitioning from a typical guy to a beautiful boy just named Sari Pehen Rakhi hai, traditional jewelry hai, and he looks so beautiful. This kind of makeup skills at 16 year old would make any makeup artist like tremble in their feet because that's a makeup artist right there. If that's not a makeup artist, I don't know who's gonna be a makeup artist in the future. I, I wish, I wish I was this good at doing makeup when I was 16 because rightfully so, his reel got viral. His reel got viral, it amassed millions of views, like it should, because he put in a lot of effort and he deserves those. And it's the influencer's dream and it was finally coming to him in real life. How could he not be excited, right? You might think. Indian boys on Instagram are the most scariest people you can ever meet with. And we'll get into that why. On that reel, which Diwali in post kari, jo Diwali is a place of celebration, ka, light. Ka. But on that Diwali ki reel, pe, लड़को ने and 99% percent लड़को ने ऐसे comments करे और इससे भी गंदे गंदे comments करे homophobic, transphobic and a lot of them encouraging him that to unalive himself basically that's what they meant and little do these people would realize that these little things are not going to be able to do it. They are in pathetic, nalayak, bearers, guard, and they are feel not going to be able to do it. They are not going to be Just because he was gay, just because he loved doing makeup, he took his life just 10 days later. November 21, 2023, he was found alone in his room, unalived himself with his mom's dupatta. And I think that's the most extremely saddest part about that because imagine he's a little kid i feel like little boys are the most closest to their mothers and especially gay boys i'm the biggest example of a mom's boy my mom is my biggest supporter in fact after his passing away his mom quoted that my child is unique and i embraced him forever and i would have embraced him even more if he only would have given me the chance to do so i think Sif utni si baat tells you bohat zyada ki wo ki uski mummy usse kitna zyada pyar karti thi aur wo apni mummy se kitna zyada close hoga and i think that's it's almost a little poetic that he chose to leave this very cruel existence draped so close to his mom after his passing away a famous actress and model, and she just did this beautiful role in Made in Heaven season two, Mrs. Srinetra, she came out and said 
that she scrolled through those homophobic comments on that real reel and she found that there were more than 4000 homophobic comments on that one reel and that information by the way let me tell you it's not a fact it's more because she's a human she has a job she has a family she cannot sit there day in day out scrolling through and counting down how many reels but she still did that 4000 char hazar hate comments telling a 16 year old little boy to go and unalive himself after priyanshu's passing a lot of influencers a lot of lgbtq activists took to their platforms took to instagram and voiced their anger our rightful anger that one of our community members who was not even an adult he didn't even pass 10th grade by the way remind you unalived himself because of homophobia because of what that people always say is non-existent and gay people like us likes to be dindora all over the world for our rights and we have all the rights and we're just dramatic and when we try to be a little silent that's what happens they get into the minds of our little kids they indoctrinate them they make them feel isolated sad in an already very tough world and then we do this and then they don't help us they don't sympathize with us they do even worse because after his passing away once those influencers and other content creators made videos about how sad and rightfully painful and aggravating this experience was and this incident is you need to look at these comments and these are not very young men these are not very young boys these are not prepubescent boys these are fully fledged guys aadmi jinki job karne ki umar hai pure mushtande ladke unhone aise comments kare ek 16 saal ke bacche ke liye jo apni maa ka ek akela ladka tha uske liye jo ab dharti pe hai bhi nahi you are not even letting his soul rest my god we as a society we as indians are at a place that our homophobia is so much that ki hum apne bio mein hinduism ka symbol laga lenge lal jhande laga lenge krishna ji ke geet ga lenge aur phir yahi same ladke aisi bakwas karte hain kisi ke marne pe just because he was gay just because he was gay and that he liked doing makeup since when is ma- doing makeup a crime none of these horrible comments were being reported when they were reported Apparently, no actions were taken by Instagram to take them down. And I get it. If you're an influencer, if you're putting your work out there, you need to be open to criticism and hate. Uh, likewise, but a 16-year-old kid, a 16-year-old boy who lives alone with his mom. If I was 16 years old and I was getting these many hate comments, oh, I promise you, school is much more difficult for gay kids in India than colleges. In college, hopefully. Most people start having their own autonomy. You're no longer surrounded and compressed between really shitty and conservative boys who are who try to SA you anywhere you go, who try to grope you because I have been essayed so many times in my school and I've tried to talk about it with my teachers to do the right thing. Indian teachers don't help. I'm sorry, I'm really sorry that I have to put it out here like that. I don't know what happens in your school in my experience. Not a single teacher helps. they just make faces they just give you excuses at best at worst my vice principal back when i was in 11th she just yelled at me and i want you guys to understand that even trying to bite your own tongue purposely your brain is so reluctant to do it try doing it try doing it at home it's really hard to you know self inflict pain so to really take a step like that you must be in a place where it's like you can't even see a speck of light i think this is a very real testament to how homophobia is in india still and how we need to keep fighting for our rights and we couldn't give less of a shit about how loud we are because if we are not these people are a okay with us dying with us not existing anymore no matter what it takes for them to get rid of us don't think that not talking about your problems will lead to anything better because it won't As always with videos like these please be very very generous about whatever you write down below because this was someone's life this is we were we were not talking about a story we were talking about someone's life we were talking about real grief real dreams being broken down because of homophobia so i hope you guys were able to take away something from this video and as always i love you 
and social media links will also be down below if you want to check me out like i said take care stay safe and happy new year bye